Hello everyone, my name is Jorgelina. I'm a vocal coach and I specialize in teaching adults how to sing contemporary music from a holistic and functional approach. Also in the description below you're gonna find my three secrets to expand your voice range which you can start using right now. It's free. Now today I want to talk about stretches for singers. If you have seen some of my other videos you know that I have a very holistic approach to singing and that means that when you sing all your body and your mind are involved whether you want it or not actually and one of the things you can do to set up your body to singing and to make it much easier is to do a few strategic stretches before you start singing of course they are not going to improve your voice by themselves you have to actually practice your singing afterwards so I'm gonna show you three of those exercises and I'm gonna explain a little bit what they are for now for all these exercises I'm gonna show them to you sitting down you can do them standing up as well but I'm gonna show them to you sitting down because I want to focus on on something super important for all these exercises and is that you have to keep your pelvis stable as you are performing the exercises so the chair might give you kind of a better feedback whether you are actually being supported by your pelvis or not so to make sure that your pelvis is actually supporting you so your torso is free to do the stretches and have the benefit so you can feel your set bones if you walk a little bit towards the end of the chair and you can go from there now the first exercise is the balancing of the flexors and extensors this is an exercise that it's going to give you balance between the anterior part of the body and the posterior part of the body which is going to improve your posture, your breathing, and the coordination of your pitch muscles. I'm just going to show you the exercise today and you can practice it for as long as you want, not too long, but probably a minute of this is good. And what we're going to do is we are going to breathe in while we drop the torso forward, stretching the back muscles. We're going to come back and then we're going to breathe in, bringing the torso backward. And we're going to do all of that while keeping a strong and stable pelvis. So I'll do it now, I breathe in and my torso goes forward. And then the other way backward. Of course, you might not be super flexible and this might be a little bit hard for you to do. You don't have to do it all the way, you can just do small movements. But the important thing here is that the movements start from the pelvis. For example, when I go forward, I don't go from my head like that. That's not very good, as you can see in my voice. I allow my torso to move from the pelvis, so all my back and my neck can relax. And same idea when I go back, my pelvis needs to be stable because otherwise it's a dangerous movement. Yeah, so we don't want to do these kind of things. See, this is not stretching and my voice is definitely not having a good time. So I keep my pelvis strong and stable and from there I move vertebra by vertebra and back. I need to explain this a little bit quicker but if you want this in much more detail remember that you can join my membership and you have plenty of full length classes and that's going to give you a much better idea. If this is enough stretch for you that is good. Same here you don't have to go all the way back. The important thing is that you feel that your muscles are giving way because if you push it too hard you're not gonna have a good benefit so never push the stretches your body's gonna tell you until what point it feels good second one reps stretch this is super important actually you know most people think that we for singing we need to breathe in the belly not so much that's actually super old technique we know now that the important thing is to open the reps and that is what we're going to be working on now we're going to work on flexibility to the intercostal muscles which are super important both for your inhalation but also for your breath support again we're going to keep the pelvis stable and strong we are going to raise one arm like this Keep your shoulder down. If this is as much as you can do without raising your shoulder, that is good. Stretch the arm as if you were going to reach for something. But my hip is not leaving the chair, okay? So not this. But if I keep my pelvis where it is and I keep my body weight in my sit bones and then I just move my ribs, then I have that nice stretch that you, I can feel. You can think about it as if you were so, so, sort of reaching for something that is high. And the idea here is that you're going to breathe in while you stretch like this. I breathe in and then exhale. Now the third stretch is super important as well. As all of this, we're gonna do some stretches with the neck. This one is very simple. It's very important for singing to have some flexibility of the neck muscles as well. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do it very, very slowly. 
we are going to let the head down and by the way we are working with the weight of your head so we are not pulling or pushing or anything like that we are really working with gravity gravity is our friend and of course with a strong and stable pelvis we keep it there we don't do these kind of things we keep it there and we work with the weight of the head only we let the head drop and then we're gonna draw very gentle circles around you might hear some cracking <laughs> that's fine so you're gonna do three big slow circles to each side try this before your next singing warm-up or singing session or maybe even speaking session and tell me how it goes if you like content like this make sure you subscribe and that you like this video so you're gonna be notified of the next one